Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Moto Flight Guy here, and today we're going to be taking my new to me 2022 KLX 300R for a spin. So you're not going to want to miss this. Check it out. Stay tuned. So about a month ago, I got rid of the RM and I decided that I really needed to move to a four stroke fuel injected electric start dirt bike because some of the things that was happening with the RM with me not riding as much as I used to, it was a little bit tougher to ride when I would step away from it for a long period of time in terms of my skills with a two stroke, as well as like one of the last times I wanted to go ride it, I actually missed out on the opportunity to go ride because I needed to rebuild the carburetor, the car, the float valve was stuck. So um, it's time for me to get up to modern day standards and get an electric start four stroke. So here it is, I picked this up used. It's a 2022, it's almost pretty much brand new um, and it's still stock, completely bone stock bike. I've ridden it one time um, on some techie stuff. I didn't have any cameras with me and I really liked it in that so today we're out here at my buddy mike's property these are a little bit less technical trails a little bit more flowy and a little faster so we're gonna see how we like it today i'll put the helmet on uh take you guys along with me and kind of give you my first impressions first thoughts so uh let's quit waiting let's throw the helmet on and let's go ride couple ride sessions but I'm struggling with the camera settings since I haven't really filmed with the one RS yet. So I'll try it again here. I'll try and chase Mike around without crashing. Technique and uh, 
just walk right up it. So, you know, super predictable, super mellow in the delivery, but still, all the power you need. This thing, though, in terms of handling, I love it. Now, everywhere out here. Man, I am rough. Now, the uh, weight is a heavier bike. Um, I'll look up the stats when I edit the video. Flash them up. <laughs> uh, lost the trail. But as I was saying, it's heavy. Don't notice it riding like this though. Very well balanced. However, if you lay it down, or I can imagine to get it mud, uh, you're probably still out weight. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. Uh, but it is on the heavier side. It's not not a race uh, competition bike. Brakes are fine. Mike is gone. I've got a bent front brake lever on this from the last time I rode it. It was actually the first time out. I uh, dropped the bike. My front brake lever is out pretty good, so it's uncomfortable to use the front brake right now. There's plenty of mods coming. Obviously got to get new handlebars, hand guards, and all the stuff that is there. The bars, steel bars, and, you know, I want a collar bend. So it's not the most comfortable thing to stand. I'm kind of crouched. So I'm going to put bars and stuff on there to correct that. That's a gnarly little section. Suspension, I can't, I can't stress enough about how great it is. Uh, oop, fuck, touch the front end there. Uh, I rode converted motocross bikes for so many years, and they're just. No replacement for suspension that's actually set up to do what you're doing. Draft is actually a little hard to see here. The end of November here, Midwest, about well, mid 40s right now. Pretty cool out today. Bike. This works so well. <laughs> Can't get over it. See?
take a little break here because I am not in shape. <laughs> oh, what a blast though. Uh, as far as this thing goes, you know, definitely was the right choice for me uh, to move to a electric start four stroke. It's just so much easier to ride than that uh, 125, even with the mods that I had on it. Uh, this thing is just so much less work to ride. And I am stoked, absolutely stoked to have it. Hopefully, man, I'm short on breath. You guys can tell I have not been riding motorcycles, but this thing's going to change that hopefully. So, yeah, that's why I bought it. Get some more seat time and get back into it because I uh, have been flying airplanes a lot, but I have not been riding. So I miss it. I miss it a lot. And there you have it. So uh, took you guys for a lap on the KLX, kind of give you my thoughts. Um, I love the bike. Um, really would suit a lot of riders, whether you're brand new or you're, you've been riding for years. I think it's uh, a really well-balanced motorcycle. Uh, I plan on modifying it. Uh, first thing we gotta do is get new bars and stuff on there because those stock bars are junk. And uh, riding through the trees with no hand guards is, it's sketchy, I don't like it. Uh, so we'll be doing some videos on that, upgrading it, but I'm happy, I'm stoked on it. And uh, hopefully I'm not so winded the next time I ride it. Uh, I, I needed this to get me back in shape. So thanks for watching and uh, look for some more videos soon. We'll see you guys on the next one.